Hey friends, Ash here with Gent Sense. Hope you're doing really well. Today, I'm gonna to be taking a look at the newest Nautica fragrance, Nautica Oceans. And this is Nautica Oceans 2021. I'm letting you know that because there was also a Nautica Oceans that came out in 2009, I think. So if you search Nautica Oceans, might not pull this one up. This is a unique fragrance because it is alcohol free. It's water based. Yeah, that reminds me of Chrome Under the Pole by Azaro which I own, and uh, that one kind of sucks. So in this video, I'm gonna let you know whether or not this one sucks. I'm gonna show you the presentation and just go over how it smells. So let's jump into it. First up, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the presentation. And the presentation for me, not great. This one I picked up from Amazon, about $36 was the cost. It's still on there as of this video, so if you wanna scoop it up there, you can. And I don't think it's hit discounters just yet, but inevitably, it will. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. You've got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration, and the fact that it's an alcohol-free formula right there on the front. One thing you'll notice as well when you hold this in your hand, when you look at it closely, is the picture is not very clear, it's not very crisp. It actually looks pretty cheap, and it resembles what you might find on fake boxes of other fragrances. So by that I mean if you've ever seen a fake box, usually one of the telltale signs is the printing on the box doesn't look very good, doesn't look very high quality. That's the case here. Now this is completely legit, but the printing's not very good. And the reason for that, when you turn it on the side at the bottom, it says carton printed using water-based inks. So it just doesn't come out looking quite as good. No big deal, but that's the reason why. You can also see on the side, alcohol-free water-based formula. Once again, sustainable materials in recyclable. And uh, hey, 90% recycled plastic cap. So that's the deal with this fragrance. This fragrance is trying to be based around sustainability. That's why it's alcohol free. That's why it uses all these recycled materials, et cetera, et cetera. And it's kind of funny. One of the things on the back it says is that uh, it's a unique water-based formula that doesn't dry out your skin. Because of course we know that when you spray a fragrance on your skin just shrivels and turns into like mummified skin. It just looks horrific. Or oh, wait, no, that, that actually has never happened ever. I also don't really get the whole idea behind a moisturizing fragrance. You know, you're not really spraying it over every inch of your skin. You're kind of spraying in a few spots and then that's it. So who cares if it's moisturizing, really? You're not spraying it all over your face and then rubbing it in, rubbing it in on your neck and your arms and all this stuff. And then here's the bottle and it looks cheap. <laughs> it looks really cheap. Basically looks like a blue decant bottle. You have the Nautica sail and then Nautica right there on the front. Cap has an Nautica cell on the top. It slides into place, but not very snugly. And then you've got a sticker on the bottom with your batch code, which is 0308. And I'll go ahead and waste a couple sprays for you guys here. There we go. One other thing that I'll point out very quickly, I know I'm taking a lot of time here, is that the directions for the fragrance say, for best results, spray eight to 12 inches away and allow to dry for 30 to 60 seconds, reapply as desired. I actually did that just for funsies held it 12 inches away and sprayed. And what ends up happening is a lot of that fragrance that gets shot out just falls down to the floor. And if you spray five, six, seven, eight times, you're gonna have a wet spot on your floor that is noticeably slippery. Yeah, it's kind of just terrible, actually. Yeah, not great. And you can see right here where I just sprayed two sprays, it's a little bit shiny, huh? It takes a while, eventually that goes away, but it stays shiny for quite a while. And actually, once it dries on your skin and it's no longer shiny, it's sticky. So wherever you spray it, you can touch your skin and it kind of goes <laughs> when you pull your, your fingers or your hand away from where you sprayed, it's weird. So if you spray right here on the crook of your elbow, when you do this, yeah, it's just gonna be like is that a good sound effect? Finally, the fragrance, how does it smell? Well, they went really simple here. Like really, really, really simple. Two notes, two. Sea salt, amber woods. Wow, you outdid yourself this time, Nautica. When you first spray it on, you do get a little bit of a fruity kind of feel. Dissipates very quickly. 
three, four minutes, it's gone. Kind of a, a citrus, like a watery citrus to an extent, but this never really has a top. When you spray this fragrance on, it just kind of lays on your skin right away. There's no moment where it's, you know, bright and uplifting and, and really appealing and jumping off your skin. That doesn't happen. As soon as you spray it on, it's just like, <laughs> just kind of lays there flatly on a, a shiny pile of skin. In the opening, the initial blast, when you can smell it with that little bit of fruitiness, what it smells closest to is the smell of when you step out of a hot shower, like a steamy hot shower, and you used a bar of blue soap, we'll say, like zest or something, I don't know, like a blue bar of soap. And you can kind of catch a waft of that soapiness, that clean soapiness intermingling with water in the air, that little faint smell. That's what this smells like. And again, that's only for a few minutes. It's got a sea salty ambroxany feel to it. And that fruitiness dies away fast. And then the fragrance stays the exact same the rest of the way. It smells essentially like a warm, clean, musky ambroxan with a little bit of salt. To say that it is underwhelming and simple and boring is, is just really, it's the understatement of the year to say that it smells boring and uninspired. Does it remind me of the ocean? No, never. It reminds me of stepping out of a shower initially and then it just sits flatly on my skin and, and does nothing, basically. And this is one of those problems as well when you, you get a fragrance and the whole idea behind it is, hey, let's do a gimmick for marketing. Let's make it 90% recycled material, but then it looks like complete garbage that you put no time into whatsoever. Let's make it not have alcohol, that way we can pitch it as a moisturizing water-based fragrance, but then you can't even smell the stuff and it's not unique anyway, so if you could smell it, it wouldn't matter. It is totally gimmicky. It is horrible. This stuff sucks. Let's talk really quickly about performance. There basically is none. When you spray this on, you can smell it for three, four, five minutes. Then it is basically gone. It will sit right next to your skin. Now, with that said, it does last you know, four hours or so. So it lays there on your skin. It's just nobody can smell it unless they take their nose and put it about that close. I'm not exaggerating. If this fragrance were five bucks or something, then sure, I guess you could get it for your Nautica collection or whatever. But as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's still about $36. That's not insanely expensive or anything, but that is for a 50 mil size bottle. It doesn't come in a 100. So if you, you know, you do some mathematics <laughs> times two, this would be $72 for 100 mils of the fragrance. At that price, it is a horrible buy. It goes from being a bad buy to a horrible buy. It's just a bad fragrance all the way around. You would wear this in the summer, of course, just to smell clean, refreshed, etc., etc. but nobody's gonna be able to smell it. You're not gonna smell refreshing because you're not gonna be able to pick it up. And frankly, the opening has no redeeming qualities either because you spray it on and it smells like a fragrance that you've had on your skin already for six hours. Like that's how it projects and it doesn't have any actual top notes. So when you spray this on, it's like you got thrust into the dry down of a fragrance that's not worth wearing anyway. <laughs> they cut out the beginning, they cut out the mid, they just put you right in the dry down and they were like, yeah, how's that for you? Now really quickly, some alternatives. If you're looking for a fragrance around this price point you want something for summer something fresh something maybe with an aquatic feel or something clean i've got five right here that are better than this one hands down now first up nautica voyage really any of the nautica voyage fragrances are better than this one so if you're looking for a nautica scent just pick this up it costs less it smells better it performs better it's just better all the way around literally every single facet of this is better than this or you could go with something like this, Set Sail St. Bart's. This is an Eau de Cologne, so the performance isn't gonna be great, but really, it's worse here than here, so you're still coming out ahead. This gets compared to Virgin Island Water by Creed. It's got kind of a tropical sea salty vibe, so if you want that sea salt that they pitch with this, this would be better. 
or you could go with Mugler Cologne. This is gonna be a little bit more than Nautica Oceans, even at discounters, but this is a high quality soapy fragrance, very clean, refreshing. You can wear this anywhere, you can wear it formally, so you have more versatility with this than that, and it smells better. Chrome Aqua. This fragrance, you're gonna get an aquatic feel, but also some green facets. You've got mint in here, you've got basil. Also smells fantastic in the winter time, and this is one of the better cheap fragrances you can buy on the market today. And then last but not least, Versace Pour Homme. This one gets compared to Allure Homme Sport by Chanel, only it's more affordable. It's a big compliment puller, very uh, versatile. You know, it's great casually, great to the office, and you can dress this up and wear it in, you know, business casual situations too. So all five of these fragrances, way better than Nautica Oceans, way better. So there we go, Nautica Oceans. Should you buy it? Should you try it? No and no, you'll be let down. And as you can see right here, the fragrance still has that Charlie Sheen going on, that Martin Sheen right on my hand. And another thing, maybe this is just me, but when you spray this on heavily, like I was trying to get some actual performance from this, so I sprayed it eight, nine times right in this area, and it started to feel hot on my skin. Like I could actually feel my skin going up in temperature right here for some reason. I've never had that issue with a normal fragrance, normal fragrance, but this one, which is unique and alcohol free, makes my skin feel like it's gonna break out in a rash. So <laughs> go figure. All right, there we go, Nautica Oceans, don't buy it, don't bother. It'll be discontinued within a year. Nobody's gonna like this, nobody's gonna re-up and, and buy more bottles of this. The people that get this are gonna be like, man, don't waste your money. Just get Nautica Voyage or any of the other Nauticas, literally any of them. They're all better than this. All right, it's gonna do it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there. I will see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.